Let's welcome Mr. Connor Allen. Thank you very much. I, uh, I just bought this shirt uh, this afternoon at, at uh, The Gap, and I can't tell if it's fashionable or a pajama top for a five-year-old. <laughs> if you want a little self-conscious. Uh, my name is Connor, as Rick said. It's, uh, it's not the most common first name you're ever going to encounter. People are always screwing my name up when they first meet me. It's just something I've had to deal with all my life. I went into Starbucks. Earlier today, ordered a drink, gave the barista my name. A few minutes later, she called out, I have a tall mocha for corn. <laughs> tall mocha for corn. I was like, yeah, you're right, my name is corn. My dad was a vegetable farmer. He was passionate about corn. Gave me the mocha, my name's not corn. <laughs> Must be a bunch of people in here with the name corn, because that joke usually goes over better. <laughs> wearing a five-year-old's pajama top, so I think that's, uh, we're off to a rough start. I, uh, <laughs> I've decided, I've decided I don't like texting anymore. I feel like it just leads to miscommunications. I was, uh, exchanging some sexy text messages with a lady recently, and I tried to text her, I want you to spend the night at my place, but it auto-corrected to, I've only ever been to first base. <laughs> I was in a little bit of trouble there. I tried to salvage the situation. I was like, hey, look, I don't really like texting all that much. Can we just meet up face to face? And that auto-corrected to, I am the real Zodiac killer. So, <laughs> it was like three weeks ago. I haven't heard back from her. I don't know what's going to happen in that situation. <laughs> There's now a refrigerator out there. Uh, it's so high tech, you can text it to find out what's inside. Or you could just open it <laughs> to find out what's inside. I think it'd be cool if your refrigerator could text you. I think that would be awesome. It could take a snapshot of what you have in the interior and let you know how your life is going. <laughs> My refrigerator would be like, Connor, you have a six pack of Paps and a half beaten, eaten bucket at KFC in here. This is why you're alone all the time. <laughs> put some fruit inside me, please. That's stupid because people don't put fruit inside refrigerators. I don't know, I'm wearing kids pajamas, guys. <laughs> Wearing kids' pajamas. I, uh, I don't eat fruit. I eat a lot of pizza. Uh, it's true. I'll have pizzas delivered to my apartment like six nights a week. It's pathetic. Uh, it's pretty amazing, though. You can have a pizza delivered as late as 4.30 in the morning now, if you want. And while that might seem convenient, I'm here to tell you that it's not based on the kind of people they employ to bring you pizzas at 4.30 in the morning. You order a pizza at 8 o'clock at night, that's normal. You're going to get a normal delivery driver. You're going to get a stone BU student in a Dodge hatchback. You might not get there on time, but he's going to deliver you a piping hot pie with a smile on his face. You order a pizza at 4.30 in the morning. Brace yourself for a crack addicted warlock to come flying through your window. <laughs> Unannounced. <laughs> Put something in a pizza box. It may or may not even be pizza, okay? Last time I got an Italian sandwich and a bag of wheat. It's like, thanks? I don't know. Thank you? And the later you order a pizza, the more likely it is the driver's going to scare the shit out of you and not come through the front door, but instead come through the side window the back door or up through the basement steps. Okay. At that point, it's like, look, man, it's 4.15 in the morning. You look like a troll. Just leave the pizza and get out of here, okay? So you're scaring my elderly mother. <laughs> live with my mom, you guys. I live with my mom. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's not true. I'm actually a resident of the Alston area. Any Alston folks here tonight? No? Good. That's good. That's a good thing. <laughs> You guys are ever in Alston, I'm pretty easy to find. I'm the only person there over the age of 30 with a job, not hitting a gravity bomb outside of the tavern in the square on Alston <laughs> Avenue. Friday. Literally the only person. Come find me, I'm pretty easy to find. 
I decided to take a break from eating pizza because it was getting too much. I was going to Taco Bell all the time. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Taco Bell, they have this new thing. It's called the Breakfast Waffle Taco. You guys heard of this thing? Yeah. yeah. It's ground beef with syrup wrapped in a waffle oh. shell. Yeah. This only goes to confirm what I've long suspected, which is that the guys I used to get stoned with under the town bridge now design the menu for Taco Bell. <laughs> Congrats, guys. Congrats. At least you're doing something with your life. I do, uh, I do want to have kids someday. That's a goal of mine. One of the things I want to encourage my kids to do the most uh, while they're young is to kick a lot of other kids' asses. <laughs> I'm going to encourage my kids to be a lot of ass while they can, because after the age of 11, you can't really fight anyone without getting into serious trouble. But there's a magical age between 1 and 11 where you can just drop kick a fool on the playground. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst that happens is you have to take a time out in the corner, right? I'm going to tell my kids straight up, I'll be like, look, you listen to your dad. If you punch someone in the nuts as an adult, you go to prison. If you punch someone in the nuts as a kid, you're a fucking stealth ninja. <laughs> Be that stealth ninja. All right, thanks. Turn it back over to Rick. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.